What's going on guys? It's ODB and I'm here to bring you another custom high kappa build, the Scorching Sun. I'm so happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Full Auto Airsoft in Emerson, New Jersey. Crazy story about Full Auto. I actually went there a couple weeks ago just to, you know, go up there and buy my usual high kappa parts and stuff like that. And when I was waiting online to check out, I heard one of the people on the other side of the counter talking to another customer about high kappas. And he was saying something along the lines of, yeah, man, you could do a lot of cool things with high kappas. I actually saw a video on YouTube of a guy who named his gun the Pink Nasty. I literally was talking to my friend and I'm just like, I want to build a gun just on the idea of pink nasty. And I can't stress this enough. I literally started shaking. I was like, dude, that's my video. Like, that's crazy that you're talking about it. And long story short, you know, I spoke to John, the owner of Full Auto. Shout out to John. Love that guy. Great guy. And now I'm representing the Full Auto family and I cannot stress how happy I am to be able to do so. So I was with John and he walked me over to the high kappa wall and he said, pick out your dream high kappa. And to be able to do that for this build especially is just amazing. So I went to the wall, I picked out everything that I wanted to build in a dream high kappa and that's what I'm gonna show you guys today, the scorching sun. So I wanted to give you guys some insight as to why I called this build the Scorching Sun. I am Filipino and some of the guys I played with have even nicknamed me the Filipino Dream. Shout out to the boys at 5BT. When I was younger, I never really repped being Filipino because I was born and raised in America. I ended up living there for a year and found out that the Philippines is just so rich in culture, tradition, and good ass food. With this build, I wanted to show some love to the motherland. I even had a viewer, shout out to MP, who told me that high capos are his dream pistol to build and his words of encouragement really helped me push through and finally make a build just dedicated straight to the philippines shout out to everybody in the philippines thank you guys for your support manga kabayan mabuhay let's get to the parts let me start with the slide setup because to be honest with you guys this is one of the most beautiful slides i've ever seen it's an open slide kit aluminum uh, by Gunsmith Bros, see the infinity markings on the side. If you look real close, there's some nice diamond cuts up top. And the thing that really set it off is the sun marking right in the back where the blowback housing is. Like That thing just makes the entire slide. So the Gunsmith Bros open slide setup actually comes with the blowback housing, comes with the outer barrel and a guide rod and guide rod plug. And for the top, where you usually have your sights, it also came with a charging hand. If you guys are wondering how I build my high capos, I usually have a micro kit, have a set of Allen keys. I definitely gotta have the tech tab on deck. So of course I got a little plastic baggie filled with the Q-tips and Teflon tape. The reason that I actually use Teflon tape over Loctite or anything like that is Yes, sometimes the parts get loose, but it's just not as permanent. And I know most people are just like, well, Loctite, you just burn it off, right? Yes, but I don't have to do all that. So I use Teflon tape. So as I took the open slide kit apart, I realized I forgot to mention that this in itself can be used for a 4-3 setup. hop-up setup, I'm going to be using the Cow Cow 3L hop-up chamber and inside of that 
I have a Maple Leaf 75 degree bucking and a nine ball 5.1 power barrel. I also didn't know which nozzle I was gonna be using. So I do have the Cow Cow Pink Moon nozzle as well as the garter nozzle. So as I'm building it, I'm gonna see how the fitments are and then I'll figure it out from there. On the guide rod as my setup, I have a 140 recoil spring. And you know, if you're gonna be a high cap player, gotta have your Cow Cow Short Stroke Kit. So for my pistol grip setup, I have a puzzle trigger, from Airsoft Masterpiece, I went with the gold rear and then the black front part. Also gonna be connecting that to the Airsoft Masterpiece steel trigger bar that comes with the trigger pin. So just to go along with the Scorching Sun build, I saw this Airsoft Masterpiece pistol grip. It has like a dragon scale pattern on it and I was just thinking more, you know, fire breath, but wanted to do something with heat, just anything with heat for this build. So I know in one of my last videos, I said the slide and the magwell should match. And I feel like I shouldn't have said that because for this build, I actually went with a gold flared magwell by Cow Cow. And only, only, only because I was able to pick out whatever parts I want, I thought I would do something a little differently than what I would normally do. I got a 5KU aluminum sight mount, as well as an RMR. I love how it came out. Definitely had a couple of issues while building this gun. The magwell kind of gave us a little bit of a problem, but after a little bit of shaving of the stock grip, we were able to slap that on pretty easily. So this was my first time working with one of these kind of rails that go on top of the slide to put the RMR on. It really wasn't too bad. Uh, there was some fitment issues with the hop up. There was a screw. I don't even know why it was there, but uh, after taking that adjustment screw out, my entire slide was able to slide all the way back and then was able to fit in the piece right here because it actually goes into where your slide catch goes. But honestly, other than that, the slide was actually really simple to put together. And overall, I'm just ecstatic with how this pistol build came out. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. I really do think that this is gonna perform well out on the field and I can't wait to test it out. Appreciate it, bro. I just built it yesterday. Slap hard left. He should be out. Yeah, he's good. Kill, kill, kill. Got him. Hurry straight. Last straight. He got him right in two. Be careful. Grenade, grenade. So I hope you guys enjoyed the footage of the gameplay of me using the Scorching Sun build. Honestly, it was performing really, really well. You know, I, I wanna compare it to my War Daddy build, but at the same time, two very different guns. But performance wise, this was the first, I guess, short stroke setup that I was able to use three short strokes with three washers. It was snappy, like, as soon as I pulled the trigger, it was ready for me for my next shot. Shooting in three round bursts was very, very, very easy. There was a couple of times where I was I used, was using it indoors 
and I needed to go a little bit harder than the three round burst. A lot of people weren't calling their hits. You know, I think they had plate carriers all over their entire body, but I was going to six round bursts and the gun had no trouble keeping up with my trigger finger. The accuracy was really good. As far as range, I didn't have to adjust the hop up at all. Indoors, it was keeping up. When I used it outdoors, I was having to lob shots a little bit, but that's because the distances were a little bit further. When I did take shots using the RMR with it on, shots were lining up great. Overall, it's an amazing high cap though. You guys can see here that I actually was able to use the Dragon Scale pistol grip from an uh, Airsoft Masterpiece. Originally, when I was putting the gun together, there was some fitment issues as far as the mainspring housing, and I wasn't able to use it, and that's why even in the footage uh, of me using the gun outdoor, it's the original Tokyo Marui stock. But after, you know, just doing a couple of troubleshooting and making sure that the pistol grip was good as far as fitment issues again. I was able to put it on there and I really do think it completes the look. Although it's dragon scales, to me it's more just like something melting, you know, and, and it just goes so well with the whole scorching sun theme. This high kappa, the scorching sun, will be on display and available for purchase at Full Auto Airsoft. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and just watching me go through the process of building the Scorching Sun. I wanted to give a special shout out to a couple of viewers of mine. You guys have been constantly on my videos, you know, commenting, giving me likes, giving me views, just showing your support to the channel and I wanted to show my appreciation back. So special shout out to Nosy Bonk Airsoft in the Netherlands, Mario Cortez out of AZ, DJ Shy out in Jersey, the DOA Raven, my boy in Cali, and Addison Cromey who's actually a local. I don't know you guys personally, but after speaking with you guys in DMs and through comments, I just really wanted to give you guys a big thank you. It's ODB, this is the Scorching Sun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.